guys, so I am recovering today because two days ago I went looking for new glasses. These are not them. Um, I got new ones. I'm pretty excited about them. And then it's very close to the glasses place. I went to the Cosmetic Pro store. It's called Salon Centric. And I have a new obsession and it is nail tutorial videos like I don't even know how to do nail art I don't even really paint my nails well and I don't do acrylics but I am like obsessed with them like I they like calm me I just think they're so artistic and beautiful and so cool so anyways I got my version of what I need to do my nails because they actually do grow pretty nicely um, but when I got home from getting the glasses, because I, I had my contacts in so I can actually see what the glasses look like, I realized that I can't take my glasses out if my nails are this long. So this one tragically had to be cut off. So I wasn't stuck with a contact in my eye. But this one actually was the same as the rest of these. It was very beautiful, but now I have two matching little ones. But I don't really care so I'm just gonna deal with that <laughs> but I thought I would do like a haul just showing you guys what I got I didn't go too crazy I know it seems like I went crazy but I didn't um, I specifically went in there for acetone and little pads to get the nail polish off instead I got neither of those things and a bunch of other crap so I'm gonna tell you guys what I got and I also got a few things for my mom but they're not in the hall because she kind of took them already and like painted her nails and all this kind of stuff but I got them for her because she was very good when we got when we got our glasses so um the first thing is a three-way fine brush I use this um when I'm filing my nails, you know, the stuff that kind of gets underneath, I just usually run this around the edges just to smooth that off so I don't have anything because I don't like them to feel kind of like scratchy at all. So that's what I use that for. Or if I have, um, like I just had a, that uh, navy polish on and it was pretty hard to get off. And so there were a few places that I just use this. It's very, very fine. So it doesn't really damage your nails. Okay, I'm going to leave that out so I don't keep showing you the same things. The next thing I got is Avoplex Nail and Cuticle Replenishing Oil. I haven't used this in ages. I haven't actually used this since I was in the salon. But I remember it worked really well. And there's a lot of stuff we do with our nails. Like even just using nail polish remover. It is very dehydrating to your nails and cuticle area, so I really wanted to get something that I could use on them on the daily, um, especially with pushing your nails, your cuticles back and all that kind of stuff. So uh, the next thing I got was a pu a cuticle, <laughs> a cuticle pusher, um, and this is a really cool one because it has like a a, a rounder edge on one side and then a more square one on the other side. So, I thought that would be pretty cool because I want to start pushing my cuticles back because I have massive cuticles and the more you push them back and the better because you don't want to be cutting them ever and I just tend to cut them. The other thing I got is my Purifiles. Uh, these are awesome. They last for a long time. They come in different um, colors on the side like this is orange on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, uh, so some are for natural nails, which this one is, and then others are for like acrylics or harder nails. I have super soft nails, so I got this one. And, uh, you can purify, you can purify these. You can sanitize them, you can wash them, and reuse them. So, that, they're really awesome, and they last a really long time. So, a big fan of those. Okay, so the next thing I got is just a buffer so it's that three-way buffer that if you want to go with kind of natural nails with just like a clear top coat or something you can buff your nails and go through all of it and kind of make them shiny and pretty and you know all that kind of stuff so that's what that does all right and I'm not a pro at nails so I'm just saying what these things 
say they do and what I've known for them to do. The other thing I got is CND um, cuticle eraser. So this is a cuticle treatment and you, you put this on your cuticles and then you push back and then what it does is kind of like dissolves them a little bit I think. It's kind of like an exfoliant for your cuticles so that you're not cutting them. So I'm going to give this a try. I've never tried anything like this and they didn't really have what I was looking for as a cuticle treatment. So I'm just going to give this a try and it was a, one of the smaller ones so I tried that. So the next couple things I got are, um, and the funny thing is I thought this was my favorite top coat but when I got home it's not. It just looks very similar. This is my favorite top coat. It's Dury Cosmetics um, or Makote. There's like two names on it so I don't know but I absolutely freaking love this. Uh, my sister-in-law got it for me ages ago, and I thought it was this um, Seche or Seche um, Veet uh, Dry Fast Top Coat. So I'm hoping that it's very similar because I want it to be, and I need a top coat. Um, so I got a top coat, and then I also got this um, Seche Base ridge filling base coat because I have ridges on my nails and my mom has really deep ridges on her nails so I thought I'd give this a try and see how this um, works out for being a little bit thicker of a base coat and then the other thing I got is the OPI matte top coat because I've, I've been into matte for a really long time I'm like just getting into the game now so I've never actually had a matte top coat so I'm super duper excited about this because I love matte and I'll tell you the color that I want to use this on that I've been wanting to do for I mean I'm talking like a year like it's been a long time um, I also got just this OPI natural nail base coat in case that ridge filling base coat is really yucky or thick because I really like my base coats to be nice and thin and this OPI base coat is really nice and thin and goes on really beautifully so that's that and then you're gonna see a lot of OPI and SE they're pretty much equivalent um, but they're they're very good and I know they're good so I use them kind of interchangeably so these are some of the colors I got I got and I'm back. I'm going to be such bad trouble with it cutting off in the middle. I don't know what's going on because I don't know how to work cameras. But I was watching the very end of the last thing and my dog was not in the bag. It looks like she's in the bag and I swear she's alive and well. She's right there. Bella! Bella! Show people you're alive. Yeah, see if she's alive and well. Okay, so I'm showing you guys the colors. And the first color that I'm obsessed with is Shop Till I Drop, and it's this peachy pink color, and I am just obsessed with it. I just think it's the cutest, prettiest thing ever. Um, the next color I have is Essie Make Me Happy, and it's this blood red maroon, blood red maroon. <laughs> well, that's a lot of adjectives uh yeah so I'm really excited about this this is a really good call like I feel like I'm like holding on to summer with this like please don't get cold like I just want to stay summer and this is like okay yeah it's gonna be fall soon so I better get some fall colors and then the next two are um this is an OPI nail lacquer and it is called live in the gray as liv and it's this beautiful gray um what i was looking for is like a gunmetal gray and i feel like this is what it is and i have achieved it i also got this essie color and tribal text styles t-e-x-t <laughs> they always have the funniest name and it is like this glittery gunmetal color as well. Um, this would be a cool like accent nail with this, but I thought what I would do is use these colors and then the matte with this and that they would look really, really cool. I mean, who knows, they might not look cool, but it's worth an experiment or two. So I'm pretty excited and these would definitely be good fall colors as well. 
uh, I'll probably do the peach if I do it before I put this video up hopefully I'll put a picture in here so I hope you guys enjoyed my haul and if you guys want to see more videos let me know give me a thumbs up please subscribe and I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. I'm sending out X double O's. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Love you. Mm -hmm.